हेलो स्टूडेंट हाउ आर यू आई एम अरुण सर वेलकम टू माय चैनल ट्यूशन एक्सपर्ट टुडे इन दिस क्लास आई विल टीच यू फ्रिक्शन टॉपिक्स आर रिटन इन द बोर्ड स्टूडेंट इफ यू फॉलो माय क्लास अटेंडिवली एंड वॉच माय वीडियो रेगुलरली देन आई कैन एश्योर यू दैट यू मस्ट क्रैक द आई टी जे एग्जाम एंड नीट एग्जाम कॉन्फिडेंटली विथ ए गुड रैंक नाउ लेट स्टार्ट अबाउट द क्लास द टॉपिक्स आर गिव इन हेयर start fiction class 1 now what is cause of fiction what is the cause of fiction when two body kept with respect to other then if we see the microscopically then every contact surface is roughness that is like this in next eye we see that the surface is smooth but actually the surface is roughness there is roughness in the surface so when two body are in contact suppose this is a surface this surface is this this surface and another body is suppose this way this suppose this is surface ground surface and this block is kept on the ground surface so if we see microscopically then every surface is is roughness there is roughness on each surface so when a force is applied on this block this this edge and this edge are in contact so here a contact force act in this direction here a contact force act in this direction now two component of this contact force this is contact force now two component of the contact force one is normal to the this and another is perpendicular to this another is parallel to the surface so contact force there is there are two component this and this now this is this vertical component is called normal reaction normal reaction and and parallel component parallel component produce the friction so when this block is pulled over the surface when this block is pulled over the surface the component of the contact force which is parallel to the surface produces the friction and the vertical surface vertical component produces the normal reaction of the body normal reaction of the body now if the if the mass of the body is m and weight is mg act vertically downward so normal reaction n generally equal to mg as there is no motion along this direction so this normal reaction balance the mg and this external force if the body is raised if the body is at raised then this force this force balance this force so when the body is at raised then the applied force external applied force that is external applied force equal to friction force friction force when body is at rest that is force is applied but yet body is at rest then external applied force equal to friction force so if a if a balance the friction force then the body will not move so body is at rest so now that friction is called static friction static friction so what is static friction when external force is applied but the body does not slip over the surface then the friction acting between the two surface is called static friction so what is the static friction there is no formula of static friction static friction is equal to generally force applied external force applied force if the force is varied then friction also varied if the force increases this friction is also increases so that is static friction is adjustable static friction is self adjustable static friction is self adjustable force which adjusts itself to counter the external applied force so that body does not move that is when external force is suppose 2 newton friction force is 2 newton when external force is 3 newton friction force is equal to 3 newton before the body before the body moves before the body moves that is when the body is at rest external if we increases the external force gradually 
then friction force also increases gradually and always friction force is equal to the external applied force. So, for static friction, static friction, this friction is equal to external applied force. That is when two body, when two body are in contact, when two body are in contact, then at the contact phase, two, two surfaces are very each other, two surfaces, two surfaces are, are very near, very close to each other. That is a electromagnetic force. That is a electromagnetic force act between the two molecule of surface. Here, a electromagnetic force. Electromagnetic force means that is electric force and magnetic force both. So we know that every char every particle is less or more is some charge some charge elect electric force act between two molecules and also and also some magnetic force also act in uh, between two molecules. So, electromagnetic force causes the contact force. So, electromagnetic force causes the contact force. Now, this contact force should not be, this contact force may not perpendicular to uh, the surface, this is inclined. So, now this contact force, uh, the vertical component of the contact force, this is, this is contact force, contact force. Now, vertical component of the contact force gives the normal reaction the component of the contact force which is act parallel to the surface produces the friction force. So, there are the two reasons one is roughness and another is electromagnetic force two reasons that is why friction is friction is produced external force is applied on the body and the when the body is pulled external force is applied body may not move but body, if the body is at rest and external force is applied relative motion try to produce then then friction force is produced while heat is produced in friction so in class 9 and 10 we have studied that we have studied that that is when two body wrap with respect to each other when two body wrap with respect to each other then heat is produced so we have studied that that work done is produced in form work done work is done is converted to heat energy but here we study that it is that how heat is produced in friction that is every surface every surface when two body one body is kept on other when one body is kept on other i am discussing why heat is produced during friction produced in friction why heat is produced in friction suppose this body is kept on this surface suppose this body is kept on the surface now that is contact surface contact surface area of contact surface is less area of contact surface is less as in real case real case surface area is more but in contact surface contact area of contact surface is less now that is two molecules are very close to each other two molecules of each surface are very close to each other so a bond is formed so a bond is formed between two molecules between two molecules of this surface and this surface molecules of two surfaces now a bond is formed now when this body is pulled over the surface when this body is pulled over the surface then this bond is deformed this bond bond is deformed when it is pulled this deformed bond that is when bond is deformed then it produces it produces then it produces a mechanical waves it produces vibrations we know that when somebody is broken then a vibration is produced so when this bond is broken then it produces a vibrations now the, and this localized deformed produces a vibration another bond is produced uh, bond is 
bo bo bond is deformed this bond is deformed and automatically another bond is formed but this deformed bond bond produces a vibration that is localized deformed form localized deformed bond produces the vibration now this vibration we know when a vibration is produced then the random the random motion of the molecule is produced so vibration causes causes the random random motion of molecules now random motion of molecules and when this vibration is damped when this vibration is damped that is is lost then it causes the random motion of molecules and which random if the molecules randomly moved then heat is produced so that's why heat is produced in friction so what is the cause of heat what is why do heat is produced in friction first the two molecules of contact surface are very close to each other so a bond is formed between two molecules now when when this body is pulled over the surface now this bond is deformed that is bond is that is bond is broken now bond is broken and another bond is formed but but this localized deformed produces a vibration this deformed produces a vibration now this vibration causes the random motion of molecules so when the molecules move randomly then a heat is produced roughness of surface is more means friction force friction force is more smoothness of the surface means friction is less smoothness smoothness more smoothness means friction is less that is as smoothness increases as smoothness of the surface increases then friction is decreases friction is decreases now if but if the smoothness is over smoothness but super smoothness of but super smoothness of surface increases the the friction that is if the surface is super smooth then then again friction increases then increases the friction now types of friction so friction divided into four category that is static friction static friction second limiting friction limiting friction kinetic friction and four rolling friction rolling friction suppose suppose this is a ground and a block is pulled with an external force f so we know the friction act act along the two contact surface along the two contact surface which is in the opposite direction of applied force so opposite direction of applied force now what is static friction now i discuss about the four types of friction suppose a body of mass m is pulled with an external force and we know that friction that which opposes the force act in the opposite direction that is in this direction so the body now force is applied but force is applied and friction force act in the opposite direction that is which opposes the external force we try to oppose the external force now if the body is at rest suppose body is at rest then that is when two body two surfaces are in contact and force is applied but the body is at rest then friction act between two surfaces is static friction two body are in contact two body are in contact contact does not slip does not slip with each other with each other then friction acting between two surfaces is static friction static friction now what is limiting friction suppose force is gradually increased and force is gradually increased and at a time 
the body start to move the body start to move uh, when the body is just about at the point of motion then the friction is maximum and that friction is called limiting friction so this is called maximum limiting friction means maximum static friction maximum static friction that is when body when body is at point of motion when body is at point of motion motion then friction force then friction force is maximum friction force is maximum and that friction force is called limiting friction that is limiting friction is called also maximum static friction maximum static friction i have told previous that when force is external force is applied on the body but body is at rest then as force if the force is gradually increased then friction force also increases to prevent the motion of the body now if the force is suppose 2 newton friction is 2 newton if the force is 4 newton friction force is 4 newton suppose uh, when f equal to in 10 newton body start to move now when body start to move then that friction is 10 newton this is limiting friction fl so limiting friction is denoted by fl static friction is denoted by f s limiting friction fl kinetic friction is denoted by fk and rolling friction fr rolling friction so now limit, limiting friction what now maximum static friction is called limiting friction now when the body is at point of motion that is if the external force applied gradually increases and at a point when body start to move or at the point of motion then the friction is maximum that means maximum static friction is called limiting friction and what is kinetic friction kinetic friction when the body are moving when the body are moving then the friction acting between two surfaces is called kinetic friction that is friction force friction force acting between two moving surfaces moving surfaces that is the surface are in the which are in contact are moving then that friction force then friction force acting between two surfaces is called kinetic friction now rolling friction what is rolling friction what is rolling friction suppose this is a ground and heavy block suppose heavy block is pulled with a force now this heavy block is pulled when it is pulled over the surface then it is difficult to pull because because here friction is very much so to reduce the friction force generally a wheel is attached to the block to the box or to the surface suppose this is body and wheel is attached here so this is ground now what happens now 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 the friction force acting between this and this ground and this wheel will be very less that is rolling friction is very less than kinetic friction or as well static friction static friction so what happens this roller just rolls not slide roller just rolls not slide so as the rollers does not slide then friction force does not act the friction force does not act roller just rolls and we observe that at the point of contact point of contact of roller and ground at the point of contact of roller and ground or surface any surface velocity is zero velocity becomes zero at the point of contact velocity becomes zero but the center moves linearly 
center of the roller moves linearly but at the point of contact velocity zero that's why friction is almost zero so in rolling friction friction uh, rolling friction is very less than the kinetic friction as well as static friction so to reduce the different moving mechanics part that is in machine when two body are moving with each other that is suppose this is a moving part moving shaft this this moving shaft is rolling with respect to this frame now to reduce the friction a roller is placed in this in this gap this is called ball bearings these are called ball bearings so this roller is rolls such that friction between friction between this and this is very less so ball bearing this is called ball bearing so so rolling friction is now the what is the order of this type of friction order of type of friction first rolling friction is less than kinetic friction kinetic friction is less than kinetic friction is less than static friction and static friction is less than limiting friction so limiting friction is maximum friction limiting friction is maximum friction limiting friction greater than static friction static friction greater than kinetic friction kinetic friction greater than rolling friction so this is the order so laws of friction suppose a block is placed on the ground and a force is applied here this is normal friction weight and friction force act along the surface now we know the static friction static friction is is equal to external applied force that is static friction equal to f when body is at rest this is first law static friction equal to external force f is external force external force that is this static friction act prevents the external applied force so the body is at rest so as force increases static friction also increases so static friction has no formula this is equal to external force second formula is kinetic friction fk is pro proportional to normal reaction and normal reaction that is fk equal to mu k into n so this is very important formula kinetic friction equal to mu k n what is mu k mu k equal to coefficient of coefficient of kinetic friction coefficient of kinetic friction and n is normal reaction n is normal reaction what is normal reaction normal reaction equal to generally weight of the body but normal reaction always will not be equal to weight of the body that is it depends on the normal reaction here when body is placed on the ground vertically weight act vertically downward now normal reaction also act vertically upward that's why n equal to mg so generally when body is placed on the ground and normal reaction is equal to the weight of the body in general case but always normal reaction will not be equal to the weight of the body there may be different there may be different uh, so here kinetic friction is produced proportional to n that is mu k n mu k equal to coefficient of kinetic friction and n is where n is normal reaction third formula is limiting friction limiting friction equal to mu s into n limiting friction equal to mu s into n which is maximum friction force so among all the friction force limiting friction is maximum maximum friction force maximum friction force when body is at point of motion point of motion or just to move or we can say it is just to move when body is at point of motion means just start moves just start to move fourth logic friction force friction force does not friction force does not depend 
on the on the area of contact surface friction force does not depend on the area of contact surface that is suppose this is this this contact surface this 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 contact surface uh, the friction force does not depend on the contact actually it depends for it depends friction force depends on depends on the nature of the surface nature of contact surfaces contact surfaces so friction force does not depend on the area of contact surface but it depends on the nature of contact type of surface that is surface is more roughness or more smoothness it depends on the type of surface laboratory method laboratory method method of finding the mu now two types method one suppose this is a pulley this is a table surface now a block is present a block is placed on the surface table surface and over the pulley a another weight is hanging so the suppose this is weight w1 and this weight is w2 w2 is hanged now we place a weight such that the body is at just point of motion that is when the body is at just point of motion we measure this weight that is this weight is adjustable this weight we placed different weight and for which weight this block is just point of motion so at which weight this block is just point of motion that is block start to move that 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 weight we calculate w2 now this is w2 and this is t so here acceleration is zero we count just to move acceleration is zero now t equal to w2 now here friction force act in this direction and normal direction n equal to w1 w1 so f equal to n into mu mu s static friction f equal to now f equal to mu s into n this external force f equal to t so this is t that is w2 now mu s equal to mu s into n is w1 equal to w2 so mu s equal to w2 by w1 so this is the answer now next method is a inclined plane this is an inclined plane and inclination is theta and this inclination is adjustable so that is this is a inclined plane and we can change the inclination suppose at an angle theta this height is h and this is d so if a block is placed over the surface now we gradually increase this inclination this inclination when now at the point of inclination at a at an angle when the body just to move just to move what is the different force acting weight act in this direction mg sin theta in this direction normal direction n equal to mg cos theta and friction force act in this direction so at the point of motion at the point of motion we can say that f equal to mg sin theta now what is f f equal to mu s into n mu s in so mu s into n what is n n equal to mg cos theta so mg sin theta that is mu s equal to mu s equal to tan theta now tan theta we can measure this height and this length so tan theta equal to h by d so finding h and d we get mu s static friction suppose what is mu k mu k now next same arrangement suppose this is a inclined surface inclination is theta now a block is placed over the surface now here theta is uh, theta is so adjusted so adjusted that the this block is at the 
point of motion but theta is so adjusted that if is if the block is gently pushed if the block is gently pushed then it can move along this surface in previous the body does not move just just slowly it point of motion but here movement is very easy just we if we if we just slight push the block then it can move easily so a little push pushing just pushing pushing a little force produces the motion of block in this situation we get mg sin theta mg sin theta and friction force here friction force fk equal to mu k into mg cos theta which is equal to mg sin theta so mu k equal to tan theta now here suppose this height is h dash and this length is b so tan theta equal to h dash by d dash so to find in to finding this and this value then we get mu k if suppose a block of 100 kg is placed on the surface and if a force is 50 newton is act on the surface mu static equal to 0 0.1 find the friction force act in this find the friction force acting between two surfaces now in the same block if the force is applied to 100 newton what is the what is the friction force what is the friction force mu s equal to 0 0.1 mu k equal to suppose 0 0.15 now what is the friction force acting between this surface here what is friction force mu k equal to 0 0.15 suppose in this two diagram in this two diagram 100 kg block is placed on a ground and a 50 newton force is applied what is the friction force acting here and here same arrangement but force is 200 newton now what is the friction force acting between this now solution solution becomes here first we first we calculate the maximum friction force what is maximum friction force that is limiting friction limiting friction formula is mu s into n mu s is 0 0.1 into n is mg mg which is equal to 0 0.1 m 100 g is 10 that is 100 newton now here limiting friction is 100 newton but applied force is 50 newton so the body cannot move so the body cannot move so here here body is at rest body is just because 50 newton is less than 100 newton limiting friction is more applied force is less so body cannot move if the body is at rest then friction force equal to what is friction force friction is static friction which is equal to applied force that is 50 newton so here answer is 50 newton here friction force here friction force equal to 50 newton understand now in this problem first we count maximum friction mu, mu s into n which is equal to is 100 newton 100 newton now here applied force is here applied force is 200 newton so here applied force is 200 newton which is greater than 100 newton now the body moves that is the body can move if the body can move then the friction force equal to mu k into n that is 0 0.15 into n what is n normal reaction 100 into 10 that is 150 newton here friction force is equal to 150 newton so this is the answer so first we calculate static friction if external force is less than the static friction the, the body is at rest and the when the body is at rest we apply the static friction equal to external force which is equal to 50 newton now here applied force is greater than the static friction static, uh, static friction the limiting friction uh, first we calculate the limiting friction um, uh, which is maximum friction force 
now 200 greater than 100 so f equal to we applied kinetic friction equal to mu k into n which is 150 newton force is applied the force of friction force of friction and acceleration of the block acceleration of block block if the force is if the force f is gradually gradually increased what is the problem one kg block is placed on a ground rough ground rough surface if a force is applied now here static friction kinetic friction are coefficient of static and kinetic friction are given and find the force of different friction and acceleration of block if the force f is gradually increased so force is gradually increased that is from 0 to 1 2 3 4 that is etc force is gradually increased now to understand this different friction that is from limiting uh, first static friction then limiting friction then kinetic friction so to understand this type of friction first of all we calculate maximum friction force which is equal to mu s into an that is 0 0.5 into mg 1 into 10 that is 5 newton and kinetic friction fk equal to mu k into n which is equal to 4 newton so we get and n equal to mg that is 1 into 10 normal friction equal to 10 newton normal friction here r equal to 10 newton now 10 newton normal friction is n 10 newton now applied force here friction force net force acceleration acceleration and diagram if we put now if we vary friction, uh, applied force first we first first if no force is applied that is f equal to 0 then friction force also 0 net force 0 acceleration 0 diagram is no force now if we apply 1 newton force then friction force is 1 newton net force will be 0 acceleration is 0 so here 1 newton force here and in this direction friction force 1 newton and the maximum friction force is 5 newton so we increase 2 newton so friction force also 2 net force 0 acceleration 0 so diagram will be here 2 newton friction force also 2 newton in this direction 2 newton now if applied force is 3 then friction force is also 3 net force 0 acceleration 0 so 3 newton 3 newton okay now when up to 4, 5, suppose if this is 4, friction force is 4, net force 0, acceleration 0, 4, 4, 4 newton, friction force is 4 newton. Now when 5 newton force is applied, here friction force 5, 5, friction force is 5. Now when if the force is 6 newton, special if the force is 6 newton what happens if the force is 6 newton friction force is not 6 friction maximum friction if the force is maximum friction force is 5 newton if the applied force is 6 newton friction remain maximum uh, the, the, the block will move now that here friction is kinetic friction which is 4 newton net force is 2 newton acceleration equal to force by mass so 2 by 1 that is 2 meter per second square now diagram will be here 6 newton 4 newton so net force is 2 newton net force is 2 newton now if the applied force is 8 newton then friction remain 4 that is kinetic friction and net force is 8 minus 4 so acceleration equal to force by mass 4 by 1 that is 4 so so if the force is 8 newton now friction force remains same 4 newton so net force is 4 newton so this this is the diagram here acceleration equal to 
2 meter per second square and here acceleration equal to 4 meter per second square. Now, here friction force friction force in Newton, applied force is Newton. So, as the static friction F is proportional to applied force, F is proportional to applied force. So, this if F equal to F, then slope of this graph is 1, that is 10, this angle is 45 degree. Now, this is limiting friction FL, which is equal to 5 Newton and this is kinetic friction Fk which is equal to 4 Newton. This is the kinetic. So, limiting friction is maximum which is 5 Newton. Now, next the kinetic friction which is remain same. Now, the static friction this friction this is increases with external force applied. So, as friction force is increases static friction also increases that is static friction is is equal to the external force external force increases static friction increases. So, slope of this graph is 45 degree and this is limiting friction maximum friction this is kinetic friction this. Now, next topic is what is the direction of static friction? The direction of static friction on a body is such that the total force acting on it keeps it at rest with respect to body in contact. This is the law of direction of static friction. The direction of static friction on a body is such that the total force acting on it keeps it at rest with respect to body in contact. So, suppose what is the explanation of this? Suppose the body A is placed on ground, this is ground and the block B is placed on the body A. Now, if the force is applied less, then the body A is at rest, then the block B is also at rest. So, here the force is applied in this direction. Now, the friction force act in this direction such that the friction force act in this direction such that it balances the force so that body is at rest. So, this is the direction of friction force that is body keeps it this friction force keeps the body A at rest with respect to body in contact with respect to ground. Ground is rest. So, friction act in the opposite direction which counterbalance the external force such that body will be at rest. Now, if the body is at rest, no external force is applied on B. So, so on the B, the friction force is 0. So, on B, friction force is 0 and on the A friction is opposite to the direction of applied force. On A, on A friction is opposite to the applied force, applied force, ok. Now, if the body, now if the force is more, that is if the applied force gradually increased and at this, at a particular value of F, suppose A and B move together with an acceleration, A and B move together, then what is the friction on A? A move together with respect to the ground, so friction force here act in this direction on the ground act in this direction such that it opposes the motion now on b what now what is the friction force acting on b friction force acting on b the block b moves in this direction block a also move in this direction so on b no other external force is applied on B, no other external force is applied. External force is applied on A only. On B, no other external force is applied. So, the as body B moves in the right side, so here also 
a frictional force must be the external force frictional force drives the motion of the body so here friction force act in this direction because no other external force act on the body d so frictional force frictional force drives the motion of the body d so he, so frictional force here act in this direction and with respect to the ground friction force act in this direction on a so this is the direction of static friction now this block move with an acceleration so this is not static uh, first i discuss the static friction then if the force is applied more then the body two body move together now the friction force act on this a and b in this way now what is the direction of kinetic friction suppose the law is that direction of kinetic friction law is that the kinetic friction on a body a slipping against another body b the kinetic friction on a body a slipping against another body b is opposite to the velocity of a with respect to b suppose this block is this block is a and this block is b this block is a b now block a is moved against the block b if velocity of a is small then then b suppose velocity here the velocity b velocity a now velocity of a is less than velocity of b that is that is velocity of a is less than velocity of b now if if a man is on the block a block a observe this velocity then it moves in this direction so the friction act on the block a is in this direction that is slipping against another body is opposite to the velocity of a with respect to b that is velocity of a with respect to b is in this direction so friction force act in this direction velocity of a in this direction if from the ground if a man observe from the ground then he show that velocity of block a and b in this direction but if v a greater than v b v a less than v b if v a less than v b then a man observe then a man on the block a observe that that this block moves backward with respect to b this block moves backward with respect to b so the friction force act in this direction now this block moves in this direction so with respect to ground this block move in this direction so friction force act in this direction this this direction and with as vb greater than va and vb greater than va so with respect to a with respect to a the block b moves in this direction so friction force act in this direction so suppose this is f1 this also f1 that is this block move in this direction with respect to a so friction force act in this direction so this is the law when a body moves with a velocity with respect to another body then then the friction force act in the opposite direction of the velocity of that velocity from the ground the blo block a and b moves in this direction but if a man is on the block a and observe its velocity then the velocity of block a appears to backward with respect to a so so the block a and b is in contact so the contact so the friction force act in, the, in this direction so this is the direction of kinetic friction this is the law you notice the, this statement and apply this theory you know notice this statement and apply this theory this is the direction of rolling friction what is the direction of rolling friction suppose a body rolls from the ground on the ground the center moves with a velocity b now if the body rolls rolls means the center moves with a linear velocity and also the body rotates rotates with angular velocity b now if the body rotates then this point this point move in this direction so relative velocity if the relative velocity at that point in in this direction 
so friction act in the opposite direction friction act in the opposite direction so for rolling friction here here at the contact point if the body rolls in this direction uh, if the body moves in this direction and also rolls rolls but moves in this direction then friction act to the velocity of that point velocity of the point is in this direction so friction act in this direction